Hello everyone, it's Carrie. I'm back with you again today to share a fun new stamp set from Missing Stamps. This is a smaller stamp set and it's called Berry Best. It's got a little bear and a bunny with some roses. There's a couple different sentiments. One says, you're the berry best. And the other says, I love you very much. So very cute sentiments. And I've already stamped this out onto a card panel here. And now I'm gonna take a couple of the roses that are in the stamp set and stamp them around the images for the background. So I'm just gonna take a few of them here and stamp them over and over again. And that will create a really fun little background. I'm making kind of a Valentine card today using some reds and pinks. And I think this is gonna be a really fun card. Now today I am going to be using my colored pencils to color this up, but I do think that these little images would look very cute colored up with watercolors as well. I think they lend themselves really well to a watercolor look. And also of course Copic markers or any alcohol markers that you might have. Very, very sweet images. And this is part of the Bear Collectibles. I call it the Bear Collectibles because I have to collect all of them, of course, from missing stamps. So be sure to take a look at all of the Bear Collection over there at Missing Stamps because they are adorable and I do love all of them. So I've colored up all the roses with some reds and then I colored the leaves with a couple shades of green. And now I'm gonna go around the larger bear here and I'm gonna color him with some light browns. These are the actually a gray brown colors. And usually when I color with colored pencils, I like to take small little circular strokes. I'm not pressing very hard at all. And then I'm blending the different colors into themselves. So I used a darker gray and now I'm using a lighter beige gray to blend that out. And then I'll go in with the white pencil and blend it out even more. Now sometimes I do like to use a blending stump and some Gamsol, but I have not found that since I've moved to my new craft studio. So I will take just a blending brush later on and blend some of these out to blend them together. It makes for a really soft, beautiful look. For the bunny today, I'm going to use some shades of brown and we'll color him up a little darker than the bear. So they do have a little bit of a difference. So I'm using a darker brown and using those same circular motions to color around the bunny. Then I'll blend that out with a lighter brown and then I'll use my blending stump to soften the look. So it's very simple process for coloring with colored pencils and I think they're just adorable. So there's our panel all finished and here's the blending stump. I'll just take that and soften up this brown bunny here. He's so super cute. Now you could also use these images on their own if you wanted to or add them to any other images. You don't have to use them in conjunction with each other all of the time. But there is a look at our panel. Now I'm taking the E-I-E-I-O frame die and the alphabet die that they all come together. I love these alpha frame die combinations because you can do a really lot with them. You can see the inside panel I cut with the smallest panel of that frame die. And then I used two of the other panels to cut out that little scallop frame. Now I've cut out the XOXO from the alphabet set in the same frame die, and I'm coloring them up with some Distress ink in Lumberjack Plaid, just doing kind of a light red XOXO, and I've white heat embossed the sentiment from the stamp set that says, I love you very much. For that, I am going to use some foam adhesive to raise that up, and now we'll start putting all of this together. So I'll add that scalloped frame first, and like I said, I used two different frames from that frame die to make just this right here. You could make just the scallop and have it be a full panel, but I really wanted that red to show in between this frame and this panel that I cut out with the same die set. 
So look at that. See how fun it is with that red around the edge there? So I think this set works really, really well together and it has such a cute alphabet as well. Goes really well with our Berry Best stamp set. So I'll pop up that sub sentiment that says, I love you very much. And then I'll glue down the XOXO, which by the way, I did add an extra layer of the XOXO. I just glued two layers together and that makes them a little more dimensional. And I'll just add those with my tweezers right on top of that sub sentiment. And the last thing to do is to add this to our card base, I'm just using some liquid adhesive and look what an easy card this was to put together with such cute little images. I love it. Dare I say it? I love it very much. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this too, but we're not finished yet because we need to add a little bit of grounding to our bear and bunny. So I'm taking a gray pencil and just adding a little bit of shadow beneath the bear and beneath the bunny, just enough to ground those images so they don't look like they're just floating on the panel by themselves. And then I'll blend that out using that blending stump just a little bit as well. And I realize in the video you can't see this as well as you can in real life, but there is a little bit of grounding there and I think it makes a big difference on our card. I hope you enjoyed this little peek at Berry Best Stamp Set from Missing Stamps. This is available today, Saturday, February 3rd. So go check it out in the Missing Stamps shop. And don't forget to check the blog and the YouTube channel for all the other sneak peeks and a look at everything that's new today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.